We're back. We're back on the Savvy 9. We're back under the bonnet. This will be, I think, the third episode underneath the bonnet. We need to crack on. We need to get things finished. We're not going to bore you with 16 hours of build. We're going to try and compact it into a half hour episode thereabout. Before we get started, let's roll the intro. We didn't get very far before we noticed that um, I'm missing a washer. I had one of my good friends, Andrew from Streamline Automotive, who works on these engines quite a lot, mostly the 200 series, but they're fairly similar. And you come around, I got him to have a look, got him to have a look at the injectors, and he just said they were a complete disgrace. He was wondering why they weren't misfiring and carrying on, so we're lucky to get away. And he noticed on the top of these injectors is a washer. There it is there in the hand. All separated. Now we've got eight injectors, but we only had seven washers. That means one of them stuck deep in the engine. And you wouldn't believe it. It's the one underneath the brake booster, the harder to get to. But with some mirrors and that, we've been able to try and get in there and we found out that it actually definitely is in there. I've tried to get picks in there. We've already been at this for probably half an hour, three quarters of an hour. Now Greg's gone and fashioned a tool to try and screw this out. So you're gonna show off? Well, let's, let's see. Let's see let's we see haven't actually happens. tested this yet, so oh, I've got it. I've got it sitting in there. I'll turn it and try and wind it out. You don't want to damage the seat that it's actually sitting on, because you obviously you've got a new injector, you've got a new washer that's got to go down in there. Well, we got to get the washer out. I can't leave it in there. Look at that! Don't drop it in the engine. <laughs> Look at that! Oh. I'm actually quite chuffed with that. You turned around. So what's that bolt? That's off of something. No, that's a bit of, bit of stainless rod that I had in my toolbox. Stainless tool rod. You welded a bolt to it, and he's gone and found a bolt that's the exact same thread, or well, not thread, the exact same diameter, that it bites into this, but didn't have to go into the head. Yeah. And all you did was just basically did it up until it finally... And wound it out, as you just saw. We're going to take that around and show that to Andrew now. And we're going to show him this video too, just so he learns, <laughs> eh? First time for us. It's amazing. Sometimes different people have got different ideas hmm. on exactly how to go about different problems. I might put the injectors in first. Yeah, that might be an clean idea. Clean them down. And get the rock covers on. Then we can yeah. clean things up. So Because I want to clean all this up. Get the rocket covers on. We'll probably whack the, the brand new starter motor in while we got it here. As a note, I'm going to see. Is there actually an invoice over there with those injectors? Those new injectors? Can yeah, there is. Can you across for a sec? A very important note, and that is when I was trying to get all the parts, I was trying to get all the you know, genuine parts. I just like using genuine parts wherever I can. Now, the injectors, like my price you know, as a trade customer, was nearly four and a half grand, right? So I fished around and I found a company called Cheaper Diesel Spares, and they're in Southport, Queensland. Now, the reason why I mentioned them, they did me no favours, I paid full price. They were a thousand dollars cheaper, genuine part in a different colour box. They are the genuine Denso part in a different colour box. And the lady on the phone was the kindest person you ever met. So sometimes I just like to mention names simply because the customer service and the price was absolutely stonking. I can't believe it. So credit to them. They can be the sponsor of the day, even though they didn't do a thing other than just be nice to me on the phone. There you go, hey? Eh? One of the most important things is when we put these new injectors in, we have to make sure we take a photo of the top of each of the individual injectors um, and keep it a reference because once we get the whole engine together, Andrew's going to come around, plug in his um, scanning machine, and he's actually going to turn around and program each individual one so they know which one, but they need to know what injector is in what spot. That's right. So, Caution, all else fails, read the instructions. Have you read the instructions? Um, no, it's not in English. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Now, injector. We go in with that up. Just got to be so gentle with it. I'll pop this one in, number two. So delicate. Thank you. 
trying to work out an easy way to get this in, but I don't think there is an easy way. Oh, so close. Well, can I can I have, put this have a in. look. You should have watched those second hand ones, they're dirty as hell. And I lifted up this this up out of the way, and I got in a bit further than that. Yeah, I don't want to go any further. I'm just measuring. All right, hold that. Um. Okay, go up, mate. Stop. All right, come down a little. Tiny more. Yeah, hold it there. <clears throat> All right. Stop. That lifted the engine up quite a lot. <clears throat> Ejectors off. O rings on. Very gently. Oh. In the hole. <laughs> Work perfectly. You're the man. You got all the ideas today. You're three nil so far I'm just pretend, in the lead. I'm pretending I'm working in my backyard. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Is this how you do it? Well, I don't need to have it anymore. We can actually lift this up a bit more so we can get that pipe out. Let the, make sure the engine mount goes back in where it belongs. Uh, it's, the engine's heavy enough. It should fall in the hole. We'll see if a pin went through. <laughs> Kick up. Yeah, it's seated right. Very good. Well, there you go. At the end of the day, there's always a simple way of doing it. Had to put our brains together. We thought about taking the top off the injector. We thought about, thought about taking the, um, the brake booster off. But it turns out, just undo the bottom mount, jack that side of the engine up, slip straight in. I wasn't gonna let you take the injector apart anyway. Oh, you let me fart around for half an hour. Well, there. it gave me time to sort things out. He goes, oh, it'll be good footage. <laughs> <laughs> but I wasn't going to let you do it. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, you're a good man, Greg. I'll tell you what, while we're waiting, while Greg's doing that, in the next episode we're doing, we might do a bit of a Q and a If you've got any questions. Now, I don't really get into Instagram that much. Facebook's a bit hard to ask it. So, in this episode, I'm going to ask... In the comments below, if you have a question that you would like me, Stu Dog and that, to answer, um, drop it in the comments below. Let us know any questions, anything about the workshop, what we're doing, what our plans are, what the future of wholesale automatic, what the future of Rocket Rod and Stuart is. Anything you want to know, doesn't matter. We'll try and answer everything that we think we can answer, but we're also going to, as you know, we're going to be as honest as hell. So if you've got a question, drop them in the comments now below and um, we'll grab some of them out and we'll sit down we'll have a bit of a Q&A and um, I don't know we'll just keep on answering questions and that and we'll see how you go so whack them in the in the comments below I'm looking forward to seeing how many of you actually get like this off don't lose the little washer off the bolt like I did drop it drop it yeah I'm not going to drop it <laughs> no way lesson learned do not drop washers off the nuts, off the bolts when you're working on an engine. We actually had to stop for an hour to go looking for a washer. Embarrassing, I know, but hey, goes to show we're all human. All we know is it's not in the engine. And we don't know where it is, but we know it's not in the engine. We actually stuck a scope down there and everything just to make sure, but it's not in there. Oh, there it is, there. The tongue you did uh, telling me that you just find it after an hour of us poking around trying to find it. Got the new injectors all in now. And uh, we've actually elected to replace, what do you call it? The fuel return line. The fuel return lines on both sides. We're actually recommended to do them. All brand new soft washers, the whole lot. Got the new gaskets on. I'll whack the rocker cover on and we'll see how long it takes me. Look at that. 30 seconds. Poor Greg, that side, <laughs> was a complete debacle. 
and it took two of us probably 25 to 30 minutes arguing with it. And it's just simply because everything's in the way and there's nothing on my side. So, and the tricky thing is the, the, the rubber gasket, you don't want to de-seat it. No, so you you've, got to, be be really, you've got to be really you've got to be really careful to make down. sure it's on. So we'll end up putting these seals in here. We'll whack these rockets, get them all on and everything. I think we'll whack the starter motor on while we're, yep. we're bending over in here. And then we'll come back and um, we'll tackle the front. Next to arrive, new starter motor. Genuine one. Nothing wrong with the old one. I just want to take the opportunity to, I'm not going to go this far down in the engine bay and not change the starter motor. What I am pleasantly surprised to see that they actually have breathers on them already. So, and they give me a new pipe. This pipe actually connects down there. So, we'll get this unit in, and then move on. Jeez, a big starter motor for what they are. I tell you. <laughs> That's why Toyota put the heavy, heavy duty springs on the front end. Yeah, <laughs> just a noise. These bolts, though, you're going to try and get the bolt in from the opposite you're way. right. Oh, well, it's all a matter of holding the tongue. Oh, oh look at that. Spoke too soon. Uh. All right, got the first one started. That's all that can. And the new starter motor goes in. I won't say as easy as that because <laughs> it's not that easy. All right. <laughs> this guard's ever had 110 kilos leaning off of it. <laughs> Doing a Superman. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. <laughs> I can't breathe. All right, here we go. You got it started. Where's my spanner? Yeah, I got them both started. So, matter of holding the tongue right now. Don't think for a second that I was smart enough to do this. This is Greg going. This is what you need. This, 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 this is stuck <laughs> it in my hand and made me look good. <laughs> now we're going to change the water pump. Now, once again. Water pump's not leaking, I'm changing it just because we're here, right? I've got the new one, a genuine one. Now, I've actually had one of these water pumps leak before, probably twice now. It's actually very common. So if you are ever in this area, always make sure that you, you change your water pump, even if there's no other reason that you're just working in this area. Now, I went to take this off, and we noticed that the... Um, the fluid coupling seems to be loose, so it looks like it's buggered. So I'm going to have to replace the fluid coupling, which I hadn't actually bought. That's another part I've got to get. Bad. It is really bad. It's quite tight. It's actually tighter. Would you call that tighter than normal? The biggest issue is this here. Yeah. You don't actually have to undo much to get this belt off. You get a spanner down here on the idler. This is a tension pulley. pulley. You put it in the right spot. You simply leave it there. And your belts are loose. Dead easy to take off. I've seen people actually undo bolts and bits and pieces to try and take them off. You never have to. I'm actually going to leave it a little bit tighter for now because I, I need to undo the water pump bolts and everything. So we'll do that. Another thing that I didn't know is that we've taken the opportunity to change the thermostat. But on top of the thermostat, there's actually a little, what do you call it? Well, People call it steam hole, relief hole, if you like. It, it just, a little, little, little bit of a dangly bit there. It just basically stops mm. the whole thing from building up mm. too much pressure in the system in case the thermostat actually ever blocks. Well, solid. it can help uh, help air leak leak through as well. Bleed it but, off. Uh, yeah, when 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 uh, it's fitted in such a way, it's always good to have it at the top there to help help uh, uh, air get through and bleed yeah. out or water pressure. So, so you're talking so. about. You're talking about this little dangly thing right yeah, here? Yeah, that's him. And we've just got to make sure that that, when you mount it in, which is just over here for this thing, is at the top. Yeah, it's better off with being at the top, right. exactly, yeah. This will make your life a little bit easier if I can get this off. <coughs> here we go. There you go, you've got tons of room now. Always pays. Take a photo, even if it's of the, the serpentine belt here. There we go, it's actually going to work out. Spot on. Here we go. Smile. <laughs> All right, what have we got next? Day two.
And what I mean by day two is that it's actually been two weeks <laughs> since the last scene, I believe, because we had to wait for parts. We had to get the um, air conditioning condenser degassed, which we've done. So if my hair's grown a little bit, or Greg's grown a little bit grey, and now you know why. So basically, today, what we're going to do, we've got the air, con air conditioning condenser out, get the new one in, get the bird's nest out from what was stuck in there. Greg's already put the new uh, Fiskus coupling on the fan, so that won't take long to get it in. We'll get this new radiator in, and we'll get cracking. What do you yep. reckon? All right, well, let's, let's get, get this. Get this out so we can see what's in there. I know this is only just balancing in here at the moment. Yeah. So we wanted to not slide have it, it out through the bolts. Slide it out, he says. Where are we hooked up on? <coughs> Jeez, look at that. <laughs> that was actually much worse than what I was thinking. There was no amount of me blowing that out was going to get that. That is insane. A lot of people have mentioned is the way to get this out, and there was many. Some people have said, burn it out. I don't know. I'm not so sure about that, but people have done it. But I think prevent, you know, preventative is actually probably better than anything else. Maybe a flywire mesh or something similar in there. I didn't do it. Clearly, I didn't do it the right way. I do see people fly. It only needs to be temporary. You only need to put flywire on when you're doing these types of tracks. You don't need to run with it all the time. New versus old. Now... We've decided to cheat a little bit. Doesn't look pretty. It does. It won't look shiny for long. <laughs> but these are actually pretty cheap. It was only like $500 for a new set of glow plugs and a new air conditioning condenser. So I was like, well, why? I'm not even going to bugger with it. I'm just going to put a brand new one in it. What I'm more impressed with is, is when you do buy one, it comes with all the bracketry. And new pipes. Yep, all the O-rings and everything. So we are set to go. We are going to file this in the useless information file called the scrap bin. She's gone. I've gained a couple of kilos since last time, beloved. <laughs> All right, let's get him bolted in. Right. Now, actually, let's, before we do that, we should be cleaning out some of this bird nest. Just want to see. See. <coughs> done, done, done. They're all done. Right. So what's next? Uh, the fan. The fan. We're going to put the fan back on. I do want to mention one thing. I'll get Craig to come and have a look. See this idle pulley here? It was really noisy. And what I did, I ordered one, a brand new pulley. But what I didn't realise... They come with all this, all right? It seemed like a bloody, a massive overkill. So we, um, Greg went around and that, I think it was a $10 bearing, pushed the bearing out, put the new one in it, did it for a tenth of the cost. So it goes to show you, ingenuity. And the bearing was the same brand as what they actually had in there first. So it was. Do it the easy way, do it the cheaper way. It's done properly, that's all we need to do. But now, let's get the fan on. Rocket's biggest fan. <laughs> oh, Greg's into the one, the dad joke. <laughs> hey. Give me one more. Yeah. I like Greg's um, method in putting these new nuts on. So I'll hold the fan and get Rocket to twist into the wrong angle yeah. and do it. Yeah, I reckon it's good. <laughs> Come on, Einstein, where's the fourth one? Under Cameraman there. standing Cameraman on Craig's it. foot, that's where it is. <laughs> We've actually put a drop of Loctite onto each one of them. See, hard to see, bit of green. Green, green's nice. If anybody can tell me what movie that phrase come from. <laughs> Put them in the comments below. Green, green yeah. is nice. And um, the first 10 to do so, I've sent them out a prize pack, all right? What movie did the phrase, green, green's nice, come from? Let us know, put them in the comments below. All one good. more, yeah, one more. That one actually went up a little bit more. 
That's it. Beautiful. Look at that. You know that that's the most she's turned in 12 months. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, I think we've got to put the well, put the serpentine belt on. Yep. Do you know which way it goes? Nah. <laughs> this is when it's handy to go back through photos. Always pays. Take a photo, even if it's of the the serpentine belt here. There we go. It's actually going to work out. Spot on. There we go. Smile. <laughs> right, I can tell you, the belt goes from this point all the way across to yours. So I need, that's it, go over the fan. There, goes down, goes down past that bottle one there. Comes back up, over there, down, under there. Wraps around there and comes back through here. How are you going to put it on here? Oh, what if we just cut it there, wrap it around and then rejoin? <laughs> yes, hang it off. We're going to start by putting it on there first. Yeah. We know what we're doing. We're <laughs> not. Look at that. New belt. Start it up, see if it runs true. Yeah, start it up. <laughs> okay. Barney rubble style, we'll push it down the hill, see if we can get it cranking. Oh, better start your bastard to get it out in the one. No, just turn the fan. There you go. <laughs> turn the fan. <laughs> All right. All right, what do we got? Shroud. Ah, that, I cleaned. <laughs> now, we've had a few comments that people say, you need to clean stuff. See that? That's actually been through the wash. Three times it's been through the wash. It's actually not mud. I even ragged it down and it's just stained. It actually cleaned on the outside a little bit better, but not so much on the inside. All right, which way to go, Greg? Well, whichever way you want, man. That'll do. Oh! All right, the all-important piece. Well, it was. <laughs> All right, now this is quite a tricky little thing to get in. It'll be so delicate. Clipped on. Yep. Oh, it's never Perfect. Now's yeah, not the time to strip a bolt on camera. <laughs> look at your fingerprints. They were yours. No, look at this <laughs> side. None on this side. They're all on your side, you bugger. This is what we're going to be doing all the way through this build, aren't we? Reshining things. Look at you, you grubby bugger. Hey, Here, hold it right. <laughs> <laughs> That's it for this episode. We've got the radiator in. We've got some hoses and everything else to put on. But more importantly, by the time you guys see this episode, Greg would have turned old. Guess what? <laughs> the big 6-0. Yes, he is. Hey, the age matches the hairstyle. So put in some comments. Yeah, congratulate the old bugger for making it. Yeah, I've still got a few years yet to go, a decade or two and everything. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> And don't forget, we've got a Q&A coming up uh, with myself and Stu Dog. Give us some questions. Want to know something about anything, wholesale automatics, what trips we're doing, what we've got planned, what we haven't got planned. We don't know. You guys ask the question. But until then, we'll catch you in the next episode. Like and subscribe. Oh, yeah, like and subscribe. I forgot to like and subscribe. Craig! Can you add the like and subscribe? <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. See ya. See ya. It's going to be one of those days, Greg. Decanted. It's really hard for Craig to make me look good. All right, I'm quite chuffed with you. Hey? Hey? <laughs> Greg the inventor. <laughs> I wanna be the best in the game, invest in my name, check no restraints, I'm obsessed with the pain, I ingest, I retain, assess and I change, possessed by the-